For the first part of activity 414, you need to make the pulley mechanism that you can see in the bottom right. Um, so make sure that you are on the pulley tab of your Onshape document, and then we're gonna go up to insert to get the parts that we need for this. So I'm gonna get a 10 millimeter pulley, a 40 millimeter pulley, a one by eight beam, and then two of the two inch shafts. And then click the arrow. Okay, the first thing that I'm gonna do is rotate this shaft forward so it's like the picture. So I'm gonna click this and then rotate it forward 90 degrees. Okay, after that, I'm gonna right click on the beam and then we're gonna choose fix. So that way the beam is locked in place and we can't move it. The next thing that we're gonna do is position our pulleys on the shafts. And we're gonna use a fastened mate for that. So click that. And then I'm gonna click on the center of the small pulley. And then I'm gonna choose the top of this axle here. Okay. And then I'm gonna apply a half inch offset on the Z axis, so 0 0.5. And notice that that went away. I actually want it to go down the axle. So I'm gonna change, I'm gonna just flip the axis there to uh, make it go down and then click the check mark. Okay, we're gonna do the same thing, but for the big pulley. And then I'm also going to apply the offset here. Flip the axis. Okay, I'm gonna click the green check mark. There is actually a problem with this. So if you notice the axle does not line up with the hole in the pulley, so it's off by 45 degrees. So if we go back into that fasten two mate that we just did, and then for this rotation angle, if we change this to rotate about Z, and then type in 45 degrees, that will fix that problem. Okay, and then click the green check mark. So now the hole lines up correctly, All right? Slide this over here. Okay, the next thing we need to do to assemble this is we need to put the uh, shafts in the beam, okay? And this one is gonna go in this hole here and then that one in that hole, okay? So we're gonna choose a revolute mate for this because the axles can spin. And then I'm gonna choose the end of the axle here and then I'm gonna choose the front of this hole, okay? Now, um, I want to apply another offset here so that uh, the shaft sticks out uh, like it does in the picture. So I'm gonna say one inch for the offset, just like that, <clears throat> and then click the green check mark. All right, and the other thing you'll notice, we couldn't really see this while we were applying it, but the pulley is actually behind it. So uh, if we go back into that and then just flip your axis, and then click the green check mark, that will flip the pulley to the front. Okay, and we're gonna repeat that process again. Revolute. And then apply your one inch offset and then go ahead and click the flip primary axis again so the pulley is on the front. Okay, so this is now fully constructed. Uh, we need to add a gear relation so that when these turn, uh, they turn with each other. Okay, so we're gonna go up here to the gear relation. And then for the mates, you wanna select both of the revolutes. So I'm gonna start by clicking on revolute one and then two. And then we need to provide a relation ratio, uh, which is, um, basically the size ratio between our pulleys. So this one is 10 millimeters and this one is 40. So uh, since we have Revolute 1 first, that would be the 10 millimeter pulley. So I'm gonna put that in as 10 and then um, slash, and then this would be our 40 millimeter pulley. So I'm gonna put in 40 for that. And that obviously is gonna simplify to a quarter or 0.25. And then we're gonna click the check mark there. And now if you manually rotate these, you'll notice they rotate together. If you're looking carefully, they are actually rotating opposite directions, which is not how it would work. So 
I'm gonna go back into gear one and we need to reverse the direction. And then if we rotate it, now they're rotating in similar directions. Okay, and if you notice that I'm rotating this one slowly and the smaller one is rotating more quickly, which is how it should work. We can also animate this. So if you right click on Revolute 1 or 2, doesn't really matter which one, and then you change the reciprocate to loop, and then you click play, the pulleys will move automatically.